Greetings to you from gorgeous Cape Town. Over there we have uh, Table Mountain, and over here, Lion's Head. And behind me, you can see the historic Borkup neighborhood of uh, Cape Town. Now, as we move on to Module 2, I hope that the pieces are starting to come together. There are still things that uh, probably in the coming modules are going to make more sense, but at this stage I would strongly recommend that you participate in these online forums. Now, some of the debates and some of the questions might appear a little too advanced for some of you, but do not forget, this is the reason why you're taking the course. Had you known all of these issues, there would have been no need to take the course. As we move along the modules, there will be a level playing field where all of us could feel entitled to participate in the debate. But do try, because turning passive knowledge into active knowledge ensures that these things stay with us in the long run. Now, one issue that seems to be coming up a lot in the debates is the sensitive nature of terminology. Do we call them tribes or ethnic groups? This is more than just an exercise in labeling. Similarly, federal or confederal, federation or confederation, these are also issues that you will see as we move along, have deep sensitive elements. And when we have multilingual federations, the difference between, say, uh, in English or in French, in Dutch or in French, as it's the case in Belgium or Canada, will have huge impact on how we visualize, represent, and label our particular form of self-rule and shared rule. Now, uh, please do ask me questions and uh, do enter the, uh, the f online forums. I'll do all my best to try to answer your questions. So I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you're enjoying it. Until next time, bye.